It's one for the record books. Boeing is proudly using the world's largest solid 3D printed object. It's a tool used in St. Louis in the production of Boeing's 777X, which the company says will be the largest and most efficient twin engine jet in the world. The 777X passenger jet will have a wingspan so big, the tips have to be folded up so it can fit in airports. Composite parts of the 777X wings, such as the folding wing tips, are in production in Boeing's new St. Louis Composite Center of Excellence. We're just looking at a small portion of the folding wing tip. There's another five or six feet of this that go on the inboard portion of it that add to that folding wing tip. For commercial aircraft, it's all about making an aircraft that's efficient, you know, and does not burn a whole lot of fuel. How you typically do that is you give it a very long wingspan. You can't do that and get all of these aircraft in airports. So how you do that is you make a wing that's really long and then you fold it up. The folding wing tip is getting global attention for another reason. Stealing the spotlight is the custom tool used to make this folding wingtip skin. Gotcha. Boeing's Mike Matlack is the wing trim and drill tools project manager. It's the technology that I was developing. It was his idea to have the tool made using recent achievements in 3D printing, also known as additive manufacturing. We've used it in small tools and we're implementing it into production. However, we wanted to take the next leap. We wanted to go into large, because we have a lot of large parts, obviously, at Boeing, and we wanted to see how far the technology can go. The machine that we were using down at Oak Ridge National Labs had a 20-foot bed, and it was 10-foot wide, so we were looking for something that would fit that framework. So we went to the 777X team, and we said, we need a demonstration part for this technology. They said, here you go, 777X folding wingtip skin. And we said, OK, we'll take that on. It was done at the Department of Energy's Oak Ridge National Laboratory, saving energy, time, labor, and production costs. One of the obstacles that we had to overcome was the pure size. So when you're looking at uh, laying down layers of material to build the additive component, there is a certain amount of time that you have to go back over the top of a previous layer to get the adhesion that you're looking for. Otherwise, you don't get the bond and then you lose your mechanical properties, so you'll lose your build. Making the tool using traditional manufacturing methods would have taken about three months. Using 3D printing, it only took 30 hours. But even as it was printing, Matlack says they didn't really know if printing the tool would actually work. Nobody was positive. It was, uh, nobody knew going into this that we were going to have success. Uh, the Triple Seven X program was counting on us because they didn't have a tool planned for this particular part. So we had to have success. We found a way to make it work. And so they did. Weighing in at 1,650 pounds, measuring 17 and a half feet long, five and a half feet wide, and one and a half feet tall, it is the largest solid 3D printed object in the world didn't go into this program thinking it was going to be the largest 3D printed object in the world. Uh, we went into it as a challenge to make a tool for the 777X program. Uh, it was actually one of the students at Oak Ridge National Labs that came up with the idea of submitting it to the Guinness Book of World Records. For Oak Ridge National Labs took it upon themselves to go ahead and pursue it and it actually all turned out to be a very positive thing. Not only is it proudly displayed, it's put to use in this trim and drill cell in St. Louis. That exact same tool would be used in this exact same configuration where it's set on the machine bed and then we take the parts, we suck it down to that tool and trim it. So you'd have the tool on the bottom, the skin would basically sit tool side down, there's vacuum pores throughout that tool that draw the skin down to its three-dimensional shape. As it sucks it down, then it holds the part or fixtures the part and then we can trim the periphery and drill all the holes in it. It's actually really exciting to work on the folding wingtip because no commercial aircraft actually has a folding wingtip. Uh, so this will be new in uh, the aerospace business. So it was exciting to work on that particular skin and knowing its function. The 777X is scheduled to fly in 2019 and to enter service in 2020. For Innovations, I'm Kathleen Berger.